So, Babatunde Fashola, the former governor of Lagos State, just came out and said he found a camera at the scene of the Lekki Togit massacre. to my youtube channel okay if you're seeing my face for the first time you are welcome subscribe like and share our video join the family let us dissect let us analyze let's gist all right so today we're going to be talking about politics all right all right so baba tunde fashola said he just discovered a camera at the lucky target I know so many you people have been hearing this lucky target so you, you know what I'm talking about lucky target is actually the place where the massacre took place in Nigeria all right so some of you will be wondering who is Fashola I will just read you something here so Babatunde Fashola is the federal minister of works and housing in Nigeria Babatunde Fashola was actually a two-time governor of Lagos State. But right now, he's the Federal Minister of Works and Housing. So on Sunday, Babatunde Fashola, I'll just read to you here. So on Sunday, Babatunde Fashola led some of the politicians and they went to the place where the whole massacre happened. And all of a sudden somehow he discovered a hidden camera according to him and now this is very funny guys because the lucky target the place has been cleaned people so many people have been there no one saw this so-called camera and the camera we're talking about is not even a cctv camera it is a camcorder a small camcorder that looked clean and moreover, this is a place that was burnt. This is a place that had millions of people going in and out with the bad weather and everything. And this camera looks clean, brand new. And, and just tell me, what would a camcorder be doing at a toll gate? And if you remember, before the shooting, they had removed all the CCTV cameras. So are you telling me that the people that went to remove the camera, knowing fully well that they wanted to commit mass murder, they didn't see that camcorder if it was actually there? And do you think if, that, if they are trying to cover their track, they will leave a camcorder for you to just find? And I, what I don't understand is, who is Fashola? Fashola was a lawyer and then a politician. He's not a forensic um, analyst. He's, he has nothing to do with crime scenes and stuff like that. He was just moving around with his arms behind his back and like he's looking for what I don't know, looking at the holes and up and all so, of a sudden, yay, I found a camera view, that will help in our case. Out of nowhere, this man, Fashola, suddenly finds a camera. Don't you people think this is fishy? Don't you all think these people are trying so hard to cover up this crime because the Lagos state governor had already said that no one died and the Lagos state governor was among the entourage that went to that went with Babatunde Fashola to the toll gate to inspect to look around to see the harm that has been done in the area and all of a sudden this ex-governor finds a camera do they really think that nigerians are stupid do they really think that we don't have sense all of a sudden there is so many things coming on so much stuff people are saying they are trying their best just to discredit everyone they're trying their best to cover up everything only god knows what will be in that camera that this politician found of all people to find an evidence, it was a politician and not just any politician, the ex-governor, that's the former governor of Lagos State, who is now the federal minister of housing. 
he is the one that found the camera and no one thinks that this is fishy for me i do not agree with this i know that they will do all they can to suppress this they will do all they can to make it look that they are the good guys but we know these tricks you people cannot fool us baba tunde fashola you cannot fool nigerians we are 200 millions we are not all stupid okay and so many of us we have been following the uh, csi and all those other uh, uh, crime sh uh, tv shows we have been watching we have been reading books and we know how these things works people can plant evidence even the police they do it when they want to save face they plant evidence to make people look bad so we will not be fooled we will not and sas stop police brutality reform the police altogether that is what the youth are asking for not all these uh, cat and rat and games that you people are playing enough is enough enough of the sweet mouth we're not having it anymore do what is right who ordered the killing how many people were dead that day because on record they have it at least 15 people from someone that was present so do what is right and stop fooling around leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this new found camera by babatunde fashola leave me a comment below let us chat let us analyze let us dissect let's get your point what you think all right for now i'm out